In China, in the month of August, usually, you know, we have a festival that we eat mooncakes because there is full moon in August and we call it the Mooncake Festival. Now, this festival occurred in China for many years. And uh, then the Mongols, as you know, ruled China for some time. It's called the Yun Dynasty. And at first they were pretty, not bad, but then they became very oppressive. So the Chinese wants to rebel. And there were plans and now how are they going to pass a message to all Chinese in such a big nation so that the Mongols oppressor doesn't know and to rebel on the same day? Well, there was some little trick because the Mongols don't eat mooncakes. So they put little messages inside the mooncake and as they pass around, they were told to eat the mooncake carefully because there will be a piece of paper inside and when you open it, it will be the date for the revolt. Now, so they did and they threw out the Mongols forever, even up to now. Now the uh, emperor, the new emperor then, started what we call the Ming Dynasty. And one of his first declarations was, the Mooncake Festival will now be a national holiday, as it is up to now. Now, but please don't miss the point. It is not just knowing the dates to rebel. It is a willingness to have the courage to do what is right. So two years ago, I say we have to have the boldness to speak out. Now after SARS, money comes in then we also must have the courage to do what is right. Well, it just so happened. So we learned from these two big Chinese festivals, one to speak out the truth, and then when we get the resources, when we get the message to do what is right. Now, for many of us who are in infection control, we know this is so true. It can make a difference.